Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're going to be talking all about Google My Business and how absolutely amazing it is and how you can actually use it in your business. So if you're a window cleaner or a pressure washer or heck, you just want to watch something better than a cat video, then you're in the right place and stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com and you are here. Thank you so much for hanging out and spending some time. If you're new to the show, have a look around. This has been going on now uh, seven years. It's now in the seventh year for the podcast. So go back and watch, listen. It's anywhere podcasts are found and even on YouTube. Uh, some episodes are actually not bad. And hopefully this episode is going to be absolutely phenomenal because I have one of my favorite people in all the world here, Bobby. How's it going, man? Kidding me? Favorite person in all the world? Come on. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, we've done the show uh, probably four or five times, me and you, and it's just awesome. I love what you guys do. But if anybody doesn't know who you are, what you do, just give us a brief intro on yourself. Sure. So I'm Bobby Williams with Justin Monk SEO, and we help small businesses uh, get on Google, get found, get found by people that uh, don't couldn't find you otherwise. So um, yeah. we mostly help pressure washing window cleaning companies. Uh, we do have our pressure washing window cleaning uh, company here downstairs in our in our warehouse, and uh, that's how we got good at SEO. We just uh, we did it for ourselves and realized, man, this is something that uh, we got to bottle up and and help some other businesses. So for nice. Going on eight years now, we've been helping window cleaners, pressure washers across the country. It's crazy. I always uh, joke about it, but I say like, your website's the billboard, and if you put the billboard in an alley, nobody's going to see the billboard. So it doesn't matter how nice the billboard is. I know you guys build websites, but that's where like the SEO world is. And I have to say, if you guys have listened or watched the show, I talk about uh, Monk SEO all the time, and I don't mean to, but you guys have done amazing things for me personally in my company. You know, years ago, and it's what you can do for some companies to just turn things around is phenomenal. And I've had bad companies, which I never talk about those particular people because I know they're still in the industry, but uh, it's really amazing to kind of find a good company, if that makes sense. So anyway, I throw you guys' name out a, a heck of a lot, but it's tough but, in this space. A lot of bad actors in this. So I, you know, I always joke, uh, and I say joke, but it's not really a joke. But by the time you find out that the company's not doing what they are, it's six months. And you're like, hey, nothing's Absolutely. really happening. And they just hope organically something happens so you can blame it on them. But then they're like, oh, cool, we'll change some things. Give us three more months. And then they go, oh, we'll change some things. And then it's a year and you've got nothing. And unfortunately, there's companies out there that scam and. If you're listening, you've had somebody call you and go, hey, would you like to be on the first page of Google? Probably in an Indian accent, and they're probably going to charge you $29 a month, and you think it's a great deal, but it's complete crap. And I guarantee you probably got one of those this morning. Uh, I get <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I have to say, with my number not indexing anymore like it used to, I could tell every time like the crawlers went through, I'd get all of a sudden one day I'd get like a dozen spam calls, and I'm like, what the heck? And it's that just happened to be the day it indexed, and they got, you know, ranks. But anyway, we had a show kind of on this subject a little bit to touch in before because I didn't know that this side of it was as big as it was or as important as it was. So we're talking about Google My Business, which is not called Google My Business anymore. It's called Google Business Profile. There you go. It, it's such a yeah. Google My Business is so much better. Doesn't that just flow better than I like it? And I but I mean, anybody that's been in business longer than two years is usually saying Google My Business, uh, new yeah. business. I refer to it as Google Business Profile, but I'll never let it go. I'll still be Jim. <laughs> so. I know. I know. It just sounds better anyway, but why change something? Anyway, I won't get onto that. But yeah, uh, Google My Business is how I'm going to refer to it too because it just, again, flows kind of off the, the tongue. But we did a show. And this has been probably a few months, probably six, nine months ago. I don't remember. But it has been a while. And when you kind of brought it up to me, as like, hey, this thing is like starting to happen. And it's like... We can do some really awesome stuff. And I was like, oh, I, I didn't, I knew that it was important, but I didn't know how important it was. And since then, uh, every time somebody, you know, sends a, hey, can you look at my website kind of thing? When I do research and just look them up and just give them some hint, they're just not pulling up where they need to be pulled up, especially on Google My Business, whatever it's called. But also that's where, I mean, you get reviews, you get the local side, the feel, there's an actual pin, like you can go right to a website. I mean, a lot of people kind of forget that 
in SEO in general, the idea is to be number one because people will click the first person or the person with the most reviews or the person that's listed first or the person that is closest to them or whatever. That person has the first and best opportunity to close the deal because if they give them a price, they close it, they book it, they do all that stuff, it's done. They're not calling anybody else. You've, you've blocked everybody else from that. So the more places you can be in, the better. And I didn't know until we talked last time that you guys can actually do something specific to it uh, to help actually rank it almost like an SEO type thing. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do yourself on the Google My Business side. And I know that's kind of what we're going to be touching on a little bit today. Absolutely. And that's, uh, you know, with SEO, it, it, you know, it used to be the maps just followed the SEO ranking. If you're number one in, in the organic rankings, you were number one in the maps. Yeah. And is it's it doesn't follow that trend anymore and it's still with our seo programs we, we see you know 80 to 90 percent of sites that do follow uh the, the maps will follow but there is that 20 percent that just it, the maps don't move like that and yeah. two two and a half years ago was when we really started diving into this trying to figure out exactly what was happening with the maps trying to develop something that would would you know push those maps along not just you know relying on the seo to do it and man, it was a it was a battle. It was it was tough. But once we had that blueprint, you know, and just the same as when we we built it for a pain in the glass, our window cleaning company. Once we had that blueprint, we've now done it on you know dozens and dozens of websites, or well, Google Business Profiles, and every single one has worked. So yeah. we haven't failed yet. It's been it's been an incredible incredible product. Nice. Um, now. And I still, you know, I still like to throw out there that this there's probably there's probably five percent that it won't work for. You know, there's if you've had a, a penalty, uh, you know, a manual action where you've been suspended. Um, if you've ever, you know, if you've ever gotten a, a spam score um, on your on your Google Business profile, um, I also, you know, we're, I'm sure I'm not seeing many locksmiths in here, but we don't do it for locksmiths or overhead garage doors. Uh, both really, really spammed uh, niches. So, nah. so. There Work for, but as far as window cleaning pressure washing, it has been absolutely lights out for everyone we put it on. Yeah, what's crazy is I had a guy maybe two weeks ago, uh, it's probably maybe four weeks ago or so, he called me and he said, Hey, the, my profile, my business page, or uh, Google My Business, like his listing or whatever, was just gone. And he's like, What do I do? You know, I've already contacted them and like somebody got back to him and they're gonna investigate it. Two weeks ago, he's called. He's like, dude, there's, I got nothing still. I got like, there's, so it's, it's so shocking when, when you do get like a, a, a hit or something bad happens like that. They don't care. Like we were talking, it's a free service. So they're just like, you know, whatever, you don't have it. So to do things the right way to get there is, is, it's so valuable just to have it. You take it for granted until it's gone. Absolutely. And that's, it's happening more and more. I don't know what's yeah. going on with the right now but i have i have two clients right now running through the same thing and we're we we help them as much as we can but if google just they, even with their manual reviews sometimes they just there's something in there that that doesn't pick up there are companies out there that actually do uh reinstatements uh as a service mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're spendy i mean they're like i think the one that we use sometimes is 800 bucks just for the one-time service so um but when your Google business profile goes down, that's, uh, I so mean, like that's two jobs. Yeah, exactly. It's just, I mean, it's like having, you know, if you had to do two websites, essentially what it breaks down to. And I think the Google business profile is, you know, as, as important, if not more than your, than your website itself. Yeah. Now you have to be an incognito view, but if you're listening to this, I want you to do something right now. I want you just to go to Google and just type in incognito, not regular because it knows that you've looked at your website a thousand times. It's going to give you, but go there and just type in like, window cleaning and your city or type in window washers and your city and every one of those little things is different but the first thing that pops up is that google business kind of google my business piece which is the map right the local part and i always know that that's like important but i didn't realize how much it was again it's at the top which is great but like that's again reviews are there and all of that so we, you kind of have seen that start into more kind of popular, but me and you have talked about it being something that needs to be refreshed and just kept up almost like kind of like a Facebook or kind of like something where there's always new content. Do you think that putting new content on your Google My Business, is that something that still helps a business in general? 
One hundred percent. So my my philosophy has always been Google loves Google. So the more that you interact with Google, because what they're looking for is they're looking for the best experience for their users. They don't want you to go to Bing. You know, I mean, think about back. You know, when I got on the internet, it was all Yahoo was the one. So and boy, but surely I'll never forget my wife. You know, when we were still dating, she goes, "Oh no, use Google. It's better." I'm like, "No, I'm trust me. I've tried. Yahoo's way better." Well, Google refined, you know, and got better and better. And I remember switching over and it was, you know, you get used to the way that search engines work and you kind of get your groove. It took a while to get used to Google, but then I did and I went back and tried Yahoo and it was like, oh, these results are terrible. <laughs> this is nothing yeah. what I want. Yeah, uh, it's nuts at oh, how much of a monopoly it has. Yeah, yeah, no joke. Um, jumping back, though, to what you said about searching in the private window, do that search from your phone, but do it a mile away from your office or a couple miles away from your office and see what those results are. Yeah. Because in your office, the proximity, you're probably going to get a number one result, but you move a little bit away, you'd be shocked at, uh, at, you know, I have so many folks say, oh, I'm already ranking number one. You push a, a mile away and not even close, not even mm -hmm. top three. Yeah, you're, it changes too. It's like everybody's like, oh, I already ranked number one. What you're using you well, who are you using for SEO? That's fantastic. They're like, no, it's just me. No. So you did it on your computer where you've searched a bunch of times, sitting in your office to like, and you search the exact same term. Search window cleaner versus window cleaners. And it's a whole different thing. Like every time. Like, like if you could somehow magically be every little piece to that, that's really what what would be would make sense if you could. Absolutely. And that's, uh, there was a study, and this is, uh, I think, two years ago, and it said 92% of business owners don't have the presence they think they do online. Yeah. And that, that's fine. But it makes sense because if you, if you don't know, you just search, you know, you search from your, you know, typically you're searching from where your business is located or possibly from your home, and you've got your browser history in there and things like that. People don't know to jump into incognito. I mean, heck, if I didn't do this on a daily basis, I wouldn't know that. So. Yeah. Um, it really, yeah, using incognito and getting outside your your proximity really gives you a good feel for what your actual search uh, search ranking is. Yeah, and we kind of talked about this even before we started recording a little bit. But what's nice about us is we're local, so we can't go on these giant national campaigns because it wouldn't make sense. But local does. So like this Google My Business side and just SEO in general to that specific side or that specific city is so much more important than say like McDonald's, right? Like the location of McDonald's, they want local, but McDonald's as a whole wants national. So they're always kind of fighting and then where it gets sent, we have the advantage to pick local always. We don't need the national stuff. Absolutely, and that's that's where the, the Google business profile really comes into play. I mean, that's that's strictly local. You know, if you were targeting a national campaign, you wouldn't care about that that section of the search. You'd only care about the organic. With with local, you get the best of both worlds because you can be in the organic, you can be in the maps, and you can also be in the ads. So I mean, it's a, there's three spots you can be right there, and if you're eating up all the top of all three, man, it's just uh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Goes direct to you. So I think it actually was. Uh, it might have been uh, Justin that said this to me, but um, I heard the. And it's probably everyone in phrases. Not he invented it, but it was the best place to hide a body is on the second page of Google. And I like always think of that now because it's like I've never looked anything and then went to the second page. Like I mean, Absolutely. very very seldom. If I didn't find what I did the first time, I'm just going to retype in the you know stuff. Like Google is literally a word that means kind of infinity like so the kids like there's an infinity of different choices but you're not going to page 17 to find anything yeah that's one of, one of the seo companies that we acquired one probably the biggest in the uh and, you know was him and us coming up in the window cleaning industry because we both had window cleaning companies um, when we purchased it he gave us his trade show booth uh, and the first year at the huge we used that trade show booth and that was what the the t title was across the back of, a, of our uh, trade show booth was the best place to hide a dead bodies second page of google <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. See, it makes sense though. And by the way, I'll tell you, I know when you came on here, there is um, kind of like a deal thing that you guys are doing um, that the first five people that reach out to you, it's, you don't pay anything to you rank one, all that stuff. So we'll talk yeah, about yeah. Yeah, Go ahead. So 
Well, if you want to talk about it now, absolutely. That's um, so that's we, we figured we wanted to add some value for for the folks that are listening. So um, we we you know uh, we, we're going to offer the first five window cleaning pressure washing companies to come through because um, I, I guess we can extend it to anybody, but um, that's typically what we what we get on this podcast. And surprisingly, I've had a couple others that have reached out that that are outside the industry that still listen to you. So did I had but, I had a carpet guy was doing our replacing our carpet, and he walked in where my studio used to be in my my room, like a second room. And he walked, he's like, I watch your podcast. I'm like, why? <laughs> You're a carpet guy. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Great. But we'll, we'll do, um, we're, uh, we're going to offer the first, uh, first five to reach out that want to sign up. We'll, uh, we'll do the, we'll offer you the maps program that we're, that we've rolled out and, uh, no charge until you get in the top three of the maps for your, for your term in your area. Yes. So. Now, um, with you know, that aside, we'll talk more kind of on that in specific again. So if you're sure. listening, we'll bring that up. But I want to say some things, too, that you can do just organically. And we talked about new content, right? So putting stuff onto that Google My Business kind of, it, it's it's almost like a Facebook in its world where you can go on. There's always content, always pictures, always keeping it fresh. But what else can somebody do to, like, improve that? So that uh, I, that's the best thing is just I mean especially on the Google Business profile up you know putting in pictures it doesn't even matter if it's you know before and after has always worked great but just some sort of fresh content coming in um, hustling reviews I know everybody hates to do it <laughs> it's not fun to ask for them but that is so huge because yeah. the big thing about those reviews it's it it does help you rank um, and not as much you know there's people who are always like well I have 120 reviews this person only has 80 and they're ranking ahead of me. It's not about the reviews. That's not what yeah. puts you. But I got to tell you, if you've got 120 reviews and you're sitting in the third slot and the next per the person in number one has 14 reviews, there's a much higher likelihood they're going to click number three. I mean, yeah. number three is as good as number one. So get those reviews. I mean, they, even that way, even if you're number three, man, you're, you got a lot better chance of getting that click. Yeah. There's so many little pieces too. Like there's not one. You can't just do one thing. Like I always joke about SEO is like, running up a sand dune like as soon as you stop you start sliding instantly start sliding back down you have to like keep going but that same side is like reviews help but then getting into the google my business in the listing helps and getting your seo so you rank well helps and if you're doing uh ad words that help like all of those pieces it's like the guy next to you your competition they're just out there cleaning windows and not paying attention like all the little things i mean that's why we're talking about this google my business again nobody else does that. Nobody else is doing that. They're just like, Oh, I don't know. It just kind of did it. It popped up. It's, it's nobody else focuses on that. So if I can do that with my business, I'm going to be above everybody else. Absolutely. And then and the biggest thing is even in the SEO world, all the, you know, I network with the biggest SEOs in the world and we all, you know, I, I think even I'm guilty of it. We all look for that silver bullet. We always look yeah. for that one thing that's going to, that's going to make it all happen. And there just isn't. It just takes a lot of hard work, resources, putting the time in to make sure that you know everything is. All the eyes are dotted, T's are crossed. Because I, I, there's probably 200 steps in every project, and if you miss one step, it's not going to get there. So, yeah. it really, it, it's it's not easy, and it takes time. But you know, you do it right, and you just. And the biggest thing with Google is time. Yeah. I mean, Google, and you know, it's unnatural if you move too quick. You just have to be patient, and that's where a lot of you know jumping back to those SEOs that oh, just give us three more months, give us three more months. Uh, that's legitimate. I mean, sometimes Google just doesn't move you, and yeah. there's nothing about it. It's you just have to wait and be patient. They come around eventually. It's just yeah. they always say they're not dumb. They just move real slow. So <laughs> yeah, as soon as it does too, you'll see some of them. I mean, sometimes people are like instant sometimes people are like slow but as soon as it does start to take traction i mean i i do i've done this everywhere you know when i'm talking to people but just if you google say window cleaning in whatever city you see who pops up it's not luck that those people popped up like it's is absolutely not luck that they're there it's not like well hey you know i don't know things just happened and we, like they've done so many things to get there but it's all the way down to like simple seo stuff but changing the content of their website so google goes hey it's always a fresh one every time we search it we can see fresh and that's pinging back to their facebook page which is pinging back to their you know again google my business and all these other things well these guys got great reviews they got all this stuff like like you said google doesn't care if you find what you want google wants you to be happy with what you found so their job is just to make sure that what you search is what you're getting and you're getting a great result. Like if I start a website today selling 
widgets and I don't really have widgets. And every time everybody goes there, they're, they're upset. Google will not list me anymore. Their, their job is to find out that I'm a bad like lead for them and they don't want to send me anywhere, right? They want people to get what they want. That's their entire job. And I'll tell you, I'll give you you guys another piece of great advice, which is huge, is don't use stock photos. Google absolutely yeah. hates them because every lead gen out there or, you know, fly by night company that's just trying to do a cash grab is using stock images. They don't have real yeah. images. They've been taken on a cell phone that has the data inside the picture that says, hey, this was taken in this area. This makes mm -hmm. sense. Loves that stuff. They can see all that information. They look for that data. When you load a picture to your Google business profile, they can see that it was taken in your area. You know, if you're using pictures outside your area, they'll pick up on that. It's yeah. it's really stuff like that it is also, very and it also pings off of others. So like if me and you were on different sides of the country, but if I'm using the same picture you're using, Google when they crawl it, they go, Hey, this is showing up somewhere else. Like that, like not only does it negate and not help either of us, but now we screwed up for you, but then it hurts us. It doesn't just go, hey, yeah, you know, this, that one picture didn't help, but it actually is like, oh, these guys, you're using crap content. Like it actually knocks you down. Now, I know there's not really a, a perfect book of Google, which would be fantastic if there was really like, hey, this is what you have to do and this is what you can't do. But I mean, that's been proven. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, using even if you're, you know, if you're starting a website, I know a lot of us aren't the, you know, we're not writers. And so I've seen people go out and just snag content off other websites. Don't do that. That's yeah. Google duplicate content. They'll they'll never let you get to the top by using somebody else's content. There's and there's no good excuse for it anymore. Nowadays you can grab somebody else's content, you can have AI rewrite it if you want to. I have a so. I have a camera in my pocket, so does everybody who's listening, you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we can all we can all use you know our unique content. I mean, even if it's not the best content, until you get good content, just put something out there. I mean, unique and is your own. Otherwise, Google's going to hate you, and they're just never going to put you up there. Yeah, yeah. So on reviews, I know those are important. People don't like getting them, but what have you found that like rack up reviews? Is there any good advice on the review side? So the best thing is making it easy for people. Um, I actually have a way to create a link that will direct them straight to your page. If they click oh, it, nice. but auto populates, get puts them right into the box, so they just start typing and leave the star review. Um, we can also we can set you up with a QR code for those as well. Um, we don't. Uh, you guys can just if any of you guys want it, just reach out to me. I'll go ahead and, and do it quick for you. Um, that really helps. You can fire off that as an email. I heck our text right there while they're standing there. You know, if somebody's you know kind of, they're kind of going over their work, giving them their receipt, they ask them right there. Hey, you know, would you mind giving us a review? How do you, how did you like our work? Right there yeah. on the spot. So that's the best time to get them because most people don't like to say no when you're asking them, especially uh, unless they're not having work. So yeah, well, and if, if somebody <laughs> asks. <laughs> yeah if somebody asks them to and say oh we we love a review oh yeah absolutely until they forget about it or they sit down or they try to look you up and it didn't pop up and they get like they want to help you but it's not that it's so difficult it's difficult enough that they're just like yeah all right now nah. if you can make that super super simple it happens you know they're more than willing to do it if they were literally just like hey like tell me tell me what you think and it's that easy it's done that was the I'm, I'm telling you the best thing that i ever saw was I, I just had a speaking engagement a few weeks ago and uh we were sitting there and right before i went on they stopped and said okay we're gonna stop right now everybody get your cell phones out google our business leave us a quick review well shoot they're, they're sitting there staring at the whole crowd <laughs> even it's not reaching for their phone right now like, <laughs> no, anytime now yeah and people are really willing to I'm like i i i think it's absolutely imperative that you you ask for reviews but people are like i don't ask for reviews that's 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 shady no no telling somebody they can only give you good reviews is shady but getting review review tell me your honest thoughts like i absolutely am i want you to tell me your honest thoughts because if you're not happy i already know that like i don't want to leave a job ever until somebody's happy so just give your honest thoughts you know that's just one more piece like you said the other guy's not doing it. if they got 12 reviews they can't compete with 100. Yeah, and how do we grow our business without getting that feedback? I mean, we can't we can't get better unless we know. So that's that's what I always I mean, I, I love the bad reviews because it gives me an opportunity to fix the problems that we have with our company. So, yeah. you know, we, we learn from it we grew, and we grow or you don't learn from it. And, you know, the business doesn't usually doesn't survive. So if I uh, see a company, too, that just has all five stars, I'm like, oh. not 
that I'm like, all right, well, you know, you got to have some bad ones where you're like, oh, this person's crazy. Like I always like when I'm on Amazon and I read stuff and it's like, oh, it's got bad review. And I pull it up and it was like, directions are too hard. I'm like, oh, this guy's an idiot. Okay. I don't have to like, that justifies all the good reviews because there's ones that are in there like, you know, and it's going to so happen. On that point too, another thing is negative reviews that are left by competitors or disgruntled employees, things like that. The best way to combat that is just to reply to it and re respond kindly and just say, mm -hmm. hey. I don't ever see a record of, uh, of you know, us servicing you. I can't find you in our books. Could you give us a call? And I'd, I'd be happy to, you know, come out and reclean the windows or whatever, whatever your your policy is. But just in a nice way. And yeah. say that, you know, somebody's reading through, they can, a lot of people, I think pretty much at this point, everybody knows that fake reviews do happen. And so if they read that and they see that there was no response from them, you know, or they haven't gone back and changed it, it just looks good on your business. Yeah. So. Well, and that's just activeness. You know, if, if there's a review, a bad review and no one's responded, they just, I, in my head, nobody cares. Like, exactly. you just, you know, like. Well, you should be replying to every review. I mean, yeah. good, bad, and I get out there and reply to them, make it personal, you know, just, you know, hey, we, we always love coming out to see you, one of our favorite clients, whatever, whatever you do, make it personal, not just a thank you for your review over and over and over. Just, just take, the, you know, a couple extra seconds to write something nice that is meaningful to that specific person google loves that stuff yeah um, it's more content yeah none of that subject too you need to be logging into your google business profile at least once a week if not okay. more google keeps track of that and if you're not logging in at all they, they just think that you're you're neglecting you know their that side of it and they aren't gonna they don't like that they want somebody that's active engaged and taking care of the people that they're that google is sending to you because literally they're your lead source so yeah it's literally that, that that's their only care in the world is that they're sending people through because if you go to google and it's like man every time i google stuff i get the right thing that i'm looking for you keep going there that's why they have chrome so that you're using their um you know uh, uh browser their search engine is in the like their reason is to keep you on their site so if they're giving a bad example or a bad situation or a bad anything that's why when you get uh somebody reports you they just take it down right away because they're like oh we would rather deal with it later than give somebody a bad experience you know that's all they're looking for. So your entire job is to just make it so that they love you. Absolutely. And their, their spam filter right now is getting really high. So for me, I'm sure everybody that's listening to this that has a Google business profile has lost reviews in the past nine months or so. Uh, they're, it's it's taking out legitimate reviews. And I don't have any rhyme or reason for it. It's just something that we have to live with at this point. But I've seen people lose 25% of their reviews that were all legitimate. No, no purchase reviews, no spammy reviews. Um, yeah. I've as quick as two days, I mean, on legitimate reviews. It's, it's crazy. So back to the Google My Business thing, what you guys are doing this in, in the program that you've kind of set up, you've had, we, we kind of talked and we won't bring up results for people because obviously they're not all the same where you are, what you're doing, but some of the stuff has been phenomenal and as, as like the results that they're getting and where they are getting kind of put in there and increasing and everything. And if that's one thing that you guys are doing just in general, do you think that that all comes back then to your SEO rankings also? Like, do you think that it oh, all absolutely. is? Yeah, hundred percent. No question. That's uh, the, the SEO uses a lot of the same resources that we use in the maps. The maps just has, you know, there's some, there's some carryover there. So, yeah. you know, signed up for both programs there's there's some carryover so it kind of offers a discount with both um it makes it a little bit cheaper because we're using the same resources that that go yeah. to you know the web page work that we do have to do on your website um but for the most part it's all what we call off page so it's going to be in other places that that are pointing back to your google business profile um you know even some direct linking to your google business profile so it's it does help both sides. Uh, I mean, it's, and again, so the SEO, I mean, works really well, helps the maps. The maps works really well, helps the SEO. Doing both is just like the, I don't know, the, the golden dagger. So. Yeah. There's a bunch of us window cleaning nerds who are listening or watching a window cleaning podcast right now. And I always joke that the other guy's not doing this. Like you're doing any piece of the puzzle that you do instead of somebody else, it makes you better. That's just one thing. Nobody's doing the maps thing. You know, I mean, it is just not, it, it's like stock in Apple when it came out. Like it's so, it's so new in that side that I just, there's not a lot going on. So getting into that side of it and 
punching that part up is just it's it's crazy right now it really is it's i mean it's where it, it's we've had a huge shift the majority of people that are looking for local services are looking the maps now and it used to be that they'd kind of skip past that and go into the organic and it's just completely flip-flopped yeah. every, every reviews they want to see the the images you know they might they probably won't even click through to your website most of the time because all the information they need is right there on that profile so yeah. it's really super, important super valuable again I, i'm not trying to make this a sales thing but again tell us with the 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 five deal because i thought that was pretty awesome but one more time i put our money where our mouth is um this is you know it's working well and it's working quick so you know i mean obviously our goal is to get you there fast so that you know we we have a client and you know we start we start making back the money that we put out on those resources up front so um, we're gonna offer the first five uh, are uh, free until you get into the top three for your keyword um, that yeah we're, we just we're so confident in this that it's uh, we, we're happy to do that it's uh, nice. we're pretty about it so it's a uh, so yeah. how do they get a hold of you tell us yeah yeah tell, tell us your number how do they get a hold of you Best way is just my direct cell phone, 509-280-6166. You can also get me on the uh, bobby at justinmonkseo.com uh, is another another easy way. You can fill out our form on the website, justinmonkseo.com. Um, or heck, you can even call Jersey. He'll, he'll shoot you directly to me. So Yeah, nice. Okay, okay. If you're not doing that and you say, hey, you know, I'm not going to have somebody do the, you know, ad like that you're doing for it. It's fine, but do something. Do something that makes your company better today than it was yesterday. All these little things. I know this is like the era of the door knockers, which I know drives me nuts and everybody knows that on that side, but this is the type of stuff. This is why the door knocker guys go, oh, I want somebody not. Like the SEO, the the Google My Business stuff, the, the all that is like the long play. That's the long play, but it's the solid play. This is how companies that have been doing this for five years are that much bigger than companies doing it for one year is because those one year guys just haven't gotten to that level yet. They maybe haven't gotten ranked in there yet. They haven't added the content. They haven't had a company like you. They don't have that quite yet. That's why a more experienced company always seems to be busier than a new company because they're just, it's just almost like in there. It's ingrained already. Absolutely. And another thing I do for everyone too is if you guys have any questions you know sometimes i get off on these tangents and you know i'm pretty darn deep in all this <laughs> i i my, sometimes the the kind of base level stuff isn't really on my radar at all if you guys have any basic questions at all anything that you know you want to know about no charge there's no there's no you know that we don't pitch this is i mean i think this is the biggest sales pitch we've ever done with you so yeah no you literally i have people all the time who said like they call and just talk to you about stuff and yeah. it's like Cool. Like, they'll, you know, you're a resource regardless of anything, just like window cleaning resource. You know, it's it's having somebody who's there and actually gives you the time, which is important. I always tell people the best part of my job is all I do is help people all day. So I, uh, I'm always happy to help. Free advice. I'll, uh, you know, we even, you know, sometimes there's things like email things like that that I just jump out there and do. I'm happy to help anybody that needs it. So nice. you, well, don't hesitate. Yeah, and a free review QR code. That alone is is awesome. Put that on a business card and hand it to every customer as you're about to walk away. Just click this with your camera and yeah, get the reviews. Yeah. Okay, shameless plug for me. Uh, I am a rat for windowcleaner.com is what I do. So if I could put an order in for you, please make my day. Give me a call. Shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. And also... Check out the American Window Cleaner magazine. If you haven't yet, absolutely, completely redone. Uh, sticker sheet, everything. It is mailed to your door every single month. And it's only $69. So go and get a subscription. Go to awcmag.com. And listen, even if you're just getting the free stuff, go to Monk SEO. Talk to Bobby. Get the QR code. Get all this other stuff. Just do it. Like, we're cash rich right now. If you're watching this, we're coming off of spring. Get this in place so that the sooner you do it, the sooner things rank and the more money you make and the bigger and stronger your company is. So thank you for hanging out either way. Um, just in general, I like hanging out with you, so I'm good with it. Um, but until next week, go out there, make sure to get your Google My Business on point, but more importantly, go out there and be happy.